seres asombrosos, parte 1 de 3, en Entre Maestra y Discípulos, el 27 de febrero del 2005, en Hungría. No? They sit there like baby waiting for <laughs> bedtime story, candies, cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of babies are you? You're so big, yeah? When you speak about God, it touched me very deeply and I want to cry. Cry. I, it touched me so deeply. Yes. Why? You want to cry? Why not? <laughs> I don't do it. <laughs> uh, if you want to cry, you cry, eh? Yeah, okay. It's, who knows what cuts the soul, you know? Yeah, it's here. Mm. Some people, okay. if you say something, you know, like a movie, nice movie, it's a good story, they also cry, eh? Yeah. It touched something in you, eh? Mm-hmm. And when, uh, of course, we all came from God now. I mean, you, huh? I also, eh? <laughs> from God. So if you mention somebody that you know exists, but you haven't seen for a long time, or you don't know how to see for a long time, then of course it, it, it's still something in here, and you cry. It was more easy to speak with God when I was a child. It was so easy. I know. And now I look for it, and yes, it feels so deep here. I understand. <laughs> Because you come here, you become a child again. So it's, it feels good. It's a happy cry. Yeah? Yes, yes, it's for happiness, not for. Yeah, yeah, so it doesn't matter. Hmm? Thank you. Cry more. <laughs> <laughs> if you're happy, just cry more. Anybody cry? No? Yeah? They all cry. Uh, most of them. A lot of people cry. What was it? What did I say about God that made you cry? I will say it again. It's so deep, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Because, because you feel the, the conviction, you feel the truth in it. That's why. Because the power pouring to you through these sentences, you know, they are like cable for electricity. That just uh, keep charging you, charging you. And when you feel full and you just <laughs> overflow with happiness, eh? the more you repeat it, you will see. You will see. The new, new, more new, more new. More newer. <laughs> newer you. Yeah. Thank you. You can cry alone at home even sometimes. When you repeat it, you cry more. Where you feel a sense of happiness, of love. 
If this sentence don't touch you, I don't know what else can. Because there's such a power of love, such a truth in it. If this don't touch you, then I don't know what will. Yeah? That's why I give it to you. Huh? Because I know you like it. Yes. yes. I don't give you garbage, no? I always give you the best. Even if when I, you know, scold you or something, it's also the best for you. Yeah? Because you only uh, scold your children. You don't go out and scold neighbor, no matter how bad he is, no? Just because you care, huh? So that he grow, yeah? Shock him up a little bit. Because he's been slacking, sleeping all the time. Hey! Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'm awake, you know? Some people need that. Some people need that. It hurt me. I don't like I don't like yelling at people. It hurt my heart, you know. But I have to do it. It's okay. My dogs also, you know? Even I love my dogs very much. But sometimes they're naughty, yeah? But they don't listen, huh? You have to yell at him and then they listen. Huh? For example, I have a Rottweiler. He's very naughty, so smart, very loving, very protective, very intelligent, and very snuggy, snuggy, snuggy. Yeah? But stubborn. He knows this is his house. He knows I love him. He knows he can do anything he wants or jump anywhere, sleep anywhere. Yeah. He knows that all the household have to take care of him or else, you know? So sometimes he don't listen to the attendant. He look at them like <laughs> like, who are you? <laughs> then the attendant feels <laughs> Different dog, right? Differently. <laughs> so he told me, "Just said, this guy, he said, he really look down upon me, you know? He, he look at you like I'm nobody. I said, well, are you somebody? <laughs> anyway, the dogs know who's who, you know? He, he really knows. That guy, he doesn't go out with somebody he doesn't like, no matter what. But with somebody he likes, he run right away. Like in, in the evening, in the night, he sleep with me, you know, all of them sleep with me. And everybody run out to the door immediately when they heard the attendant coming to bring them out for the morning, you know? Not him. He stay in the sofa, look, look who is there. <laughs> and the please come. The wind master, please come. He said, <laughs> He's not under the pillow. Or he put under the blanket, or he's done his butt direct into him. <laughs> That's his answer. No matter how long that person beg or scream, whatever, he don't move. So I have to say, please, get out! And then he run. Yeah. If I say, hey, honey, come out here. Up again in the sofa. <laughs> so I have to yell at him and then he goes, you know? Even say, Puri, get out, be good. Then he just sissy sassy and stay there. But if I say, Puri, go out! And then he runs. <laughs> immediately, immediately, yeah. But even if the attendant say the same voice, same tone, he don't move. <laughs> only him, only him. Everybody else is very coordinated and know what to do, when, what, but not this guy. No. If he say no, it's no. Yeah. So it just have to be me, you know, otherwise he don't go. Anyway, mm, but when another attendant, you know, that he, no problem, you know, just one or two guys he don't like, then he don't go. He, he'd rather stay there and hold it until, I don't know, afternoon, morning, whatever. He holds so long. He could hold like 24 hours. It's incredible, you know? You don't need to go. Like he's a magician, he can regulate his bowel, you know? He don't go. But when he's a nice, the person that he, he have nothing for against, then he just run. There's only one attendant that he never listened. Never. 
ever. Don't like it. <laughs> don't go. <laughs> but anybody else, you run, run, run. You know, go to the door waiting for them. To open door and then you go out. Love has nothing to do with it. All right? Yeah. If you're naughty, I just smack at the bottom a little bit. And then <laughs> Thanks. Go better. Yeah, but he's so loving. So loving. Very, very quiet, very gentleman. No? Never snatch toys from smaller guy. And if he's smaller, a dog comes, he's very gentle. He play tug and walk with them with the toys, but he never really yank them and run away and all that. Never. And he would say, drop it. You're too rough. And he dropped for the small guy to take it away. Yeah? Go ahead, have a smaller one. The Maltese is so small and white. And he's so big and black, you know, these two. Black and white, oh, we play together. One is so big and black, one is so small and white. And they were cracking together, you know. <laughs> and take a walk. And the small guy always win. Because he, he give in. The big one, you know, Rottweiler, he give in to him. Very gentle. Also, also the small one, the Maltese, is the first dog. So he's a boss in the house. Everyone afraid of him. Nobody ever dared do anything against him. If he's, then they run. <laughs> he's so small like this, yeah? so long and so small. If you wash him, he's about that big. You know, and when he's wet, <laughs> like a mouse. But all the dogs listen to him. They have order, you know? They have rules. And the big Rottweiler is always respectful. Yeah. They play together, but very respectful, and he's very gentle. He's a good guy. He's just very stubborn and he knows who he listens or who he doesn't. Yeah. He's really cute, you know, I mean, when you observe. And he talks, you know, and he's very protective. That's why when I first came here, he, uh, the, the next day he told the dogs here, take care of my master, eh? And they all come and, you know, sit in front of my trailer, <laughs> waiting to say hello. Yeah. So it, it cost me some toast and butter, you know? <laughs> They didn't come for that, of course, but they love it, no? Yeah. But uh, your dogs here don't eat apple and don't eat fruit, eh? My dogs eat every fruit. Because after the meal, we give them uh, dessert, you know? Like maybe uh, apples, maybe fruit, maybe yogurt, maybe ice cream, maybe... Uh, flan, you know, whatever dessert, yeah? Yeah. Then after that... Uh, uh, you know, lunch they have different snacks. Huh? No, they have uh, they have first they have uh, like breakfast, nah? No? Yeah, cornflakes or toast or whatever. Yeah, and then and then they have uh, snacks in the between time, and then dinner. Yeah. After breakfast they have uh, dessert, nah? No? Dessert, nah? No? And after dinner also, eh? Then after that, breakfast and then go bed, bed. <laughs> a lot of work. <laughs> but uh, even then, because he was a samurai before. <laughs> You know, he volunteered to come down. He's not a dog, eh? All my dogs are volunteer, eh? Yeah. Oh no, except one, the Pudo. Pudo, you remember Pudo? Yeah. Lucky? Yeah. He's not volunteer, but now he's also very high already. Yeah, yeah lucky. And uh, he's the last one to go up to the fifth level. So I asked him, why are you so slow? He said, what's the hurry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said, oh, yeah, you're right, my wife. <laughs> but he's very naughty, you know. If I sit there all night, meditate, and he knows that I'm there, then he don't do anything. But at stories, I turn my back go somewhere else, and he go pee somewhere <laughs> in the room. <laughs> he's very bad boy. Bad boy, bad boy. Nobody can sleep with him. Before, because I'm busy at night, you know, because I don't want to disturb them. I work at night sometimes, I meditate, and then I get up, meditate, turn on the light, do some noting or working, you know. And then when I'm too tired, I go meditate again, and then turn the light off, on and med work again. Because every time I turn the light off, they think it's time to get up or do something. So they all run around, run around, <laughs> you know, waking tails and come back waiting for pets, for everything. Yeah, I don't want to disturb them. And especially Lucky, you know, he always wakes up and trails around me everywhere, you know. All of them trail around, but Lucky and Benny are the most. And are happy also, the girl, you know. The girl who likes to sleep on my bed, she's the only girl. Everybody loves her. Yeah. 
other dogs to love her. She's very sissy sassy with all of them. Because <laughs> she knows she's the only girl. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. She play cute, she play hard to get and all kind of thing. You know, very cute, very cute. <laughs> but she loves me so much. And so if I leave her too long, she becomes skinny. She don't eat, she lost her hair, she looks horrible. So anyway, they trail around me all the time. I go to the bathroom, they trail around me, you know, I go to the bathroom. I go back to the sofa, they go to the sofa. I go to the office, they go to the office. <laughs> Even if I go from one sofa to the office, it's just two feet away, eh? and he jump from the sofa and go there and lay under my feet. You know, even if I walk all night, they walk all night. And especially if lucky, if I don't watch him, if I'm not there, I go downstairs, do something, and come back up. That's it. You know, that's uh, some some poo poodle somewhere. Poodle. <laughs> so sometimes I let him sleep with attendants. It's even worse. <laughs> he does even in front of them. <laughs> He protests, you know. <laughs> but he's much better now. He don't do that anymore. He's good, good. He's good, good. And many and lucky friend, friend, good friend. Oh, all together, all the time. Sim similar size, you know. They love each other very much. But still, they love me the most. I'm surprised because when it comes to me, you know, they they all don't care about the other one. For example, like Benny, he loves Lucky and all that, you know? But when uh, when uh, he see me go somewhere, he just left him there and just run, run to me, you know? And when he's with me, he don't care about any other dog, toys, or whatever. And growling at all of them, stay away, you know? Lucky is the same. Lucky loves Benny very much. But if he's on my lap, that's it. There's no other friend in the whole world he cares. <laughs> you know, he growl at everybody. <laughs> Even they were just there along all the all the way there and not doing anything. But, but before they were not there, they just appear nearby and lay there. Say, <laughs> <laughs> don't bother, don't dream about it. <laughs> but uh, they are afraid of Benny. They are respect him. So small like this, uh, small like this, you know. <laughs> Very respectful because they have order, you know. They know who's first, who's actually Benny, kind of the only dog that real, you know. The other I just adopted, and even from the shop because somebody don't want it, so I took him. Like like uh, the Rottweiler, nobody wanted him, and uh, mostly they put all the dogs in in the play area. They are allowed to go out and play with customer. This one no. Was in, he was scooped up in a very small cage, he could not even move around. Yeah, and he, he, they don't even feed him. So he eat his own poo, you know. It was horrible and he was very sick. His legs were bigger than himself when he came. He was sick and I have to nurse him for many months before he can come out and play with other dogs. You know, just to prevent contagious infection to other dogs, just in case, you know? So he has to be isolated for, for a long time, maybe two months, and I have to come every day, play with him inside there. And Lucky also was very sick for a long time when I adopted him, remember? All his teeth were rotten and he could not even eat, so we have to go to the dentist immediately, yeah? And I spent about ten thousand dollars. It's worth it. They take all the, the rotten teeth of rotten and smell terrible. His whole body smell because the, the, the teeth infect the whole body as well, you know? And he, his body smell horrible. I don't know how I even take that dog. I don't know how I even I let him sleep with me every night until he get better. And he still does. And he sting, you know, at that time even. Oh, Fleas and everything, uh, you know, insects all over, and his eyes were running. His teeth smell, his whole body smell. Ten thousand dollar after, he's a happy boy. He's even on internet. The doctor was so proud. He put him on internet. Look, you know, the good dog. I see him, you know. So the doctor sent him in the internet, and he he took all the tooth, uh, teeth out, but he operate, you know, he has to need an, a laser operation, the, the best at that time in America. He's one of the two best dentists, but most expensive. It's not like he charged expensive, but he has expensive equipment and hygiene and everything and 24-hour uh, nurses, you know. And he, he cut open the gum, he put the bone in it. 
Therefore, even though he, he have only two or, or three teeth left, he can chew bone. Yeah, I mean vegetarian bone, softer, yeah. And eat anything, biscuits and whatever. Yeah. But I chop very small and fine. So I make everything soft for him. So he don't have to chew. Otherwise he might hurt his gum, you know. But he loves to chew that vegetarian bone. Everybody loves that. And why why do we talk about that? <laughs> I'm too far away. What is? Where were we? Uh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Lucky also. If, if he, I saw him lift his leg and no right, I said, Lucky, no! And then he, he, he run, you know? <laughs> he knows. But if I say, Lucky, no, and he still continue. And yeah, they do know the tone. They understand absolutely what I'm talking about. Understand English perfect, better than you. <laughs> but ignore it, you know? Stubborn, you know? Because I adopted them when they were already set in their habit. I didn't raise them when they were kids, you know, like Benny. Benny is perfect. He knows where to do what. He never make trouble. Unless sometimes accident, if something wrong, but he never do things like that on purpose, you know. But later, lucky, teach him also bad habits. <laughs> oh, difficult to, to retrain him again. It was some trouble. That, that lucky guy, he's really lucky. He's uh, destined to <laughs> to be put to death already. But he just look into my eyes and beg. He step, He sit on his on his uh, hind, just just like you sit, <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> he saw me coming and he stood up right away and begging me. You know, three times. I pass already and come back, he does it again. So it melts my heart, you know. And all my attendants standing around it. I came just to, to give some donation, yeah. And I told you already, and then the dogs, they begged me. So I took two of them. <laughs> In this case, the one is also happy. Happy, they're both very grateful. Never forget, they never forget, they say they never forget. That lucky guy, he's really lucky. He's the best time to... <laughs> to be put to death already, but he just look into my eyes and beg. He sit on his hind, just, just like you sit. <laughs> like that, yeah. <laughs> he saw me coming and he stood up right away and begging me. <laughs> Three times. I pass already and come back, he does it again. So it melts my heart, you know, and all my attendants standing around it. I came just to to give some donation, yeah. I told you already, and then the dogs they begged me, so I took two of them. <laughs> In this case, one is also happy, happy. They're both very grateful. Never forget. They never forget. They say they never forget. And he begs me, oh fine. But he was so dirty, you know. My attendants stood around. And later they told me that they were praying that I don't take that dog. <laughs> they told me later, but at that time they didn't say anything. Of course, they, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and one left the other say, you, 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 you take him. You, know, you, you hold. <laughs> because, because uh, he was so almost. Uh, Black, you know, gray is black, and even wrote it officially, gray poodle. Have you ever heard of a gray poodle? I never seen one, but they they wrote it out gray poodle. After we wash them and dry him, everything, he's a white poodle. You saw him, eh? You saw him. He's white, 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 white. But the official paper is still written. I, I can show it to you. It says gray. Because it was gray. It's been on the street too long and they put him on the newspaper, you know? And he smeared himself all day and he completely gray. Not only gray, he's a, a reddish everywhere because of the infection. It's red everywhere uh, possible and spotted here and there, red all over. It take, and so it was like red uh, and and gray, red and gray. Everywhere looked messy, you know. Not just not just beautiful, red spot here and there. No, 
So I was so messy. I worry the doctor don't even want to take him. I I dye him all together in red. <laughs> you know, not red but like a apricot like color. Yeah, and blue like so it's it blend in a little bit. So it look like oh pinky, you know, pinky <laughs> pinky photo. I make him nice everything, then I bring him to the doctor because it's a posh clinic, you know? I'm worried the doctor don't don't take him. He was so messy looking. So I dye him, you know. I use a fruit. <laughs> I use fruit color. A, a harmless, you know. Fruit color, the color you put in cakes and candy, you know. I use those to to dye him. It takes three, four times until it eats in, you know. And I was very proud of my product. <laughs> ah, I have a pink boo boo. Yeah. And he then come a little bit and he pop up and he look like a Hollywood movie star. <laughs> All teeth rotten, nobody knows. So we, it take like three, four hours from my house to that dentist because he's, uh, he doesn't live nearby. But he's famous, famous. And my dentist, my, my vet recommend him. He's a dentist vet, you know. I recommend him. They say he's the best. It, he, if you can afford him, I recommend. <laughs> I say I can afford. Just, just tell me, and then he give address, and then make appointment, and we deliver. Yeah. Three days, operation, recovering, everything. Then, then we come take him back home. Yeah. And another time, he's still sick, you know. He's always sick. But his body already very sick, so it recur now and again. And one time I take to him to another clinic or something. I forgot. Maybe he vomit or something. And then I had to stay there for a while. And, uh, and then uh, when we come take him, the doctor say he doesn't eat. So if he eats, then uh, he can go home, mean he's normal. The moment he hears that, he jump onto the food, eat every ounce of it. Not yet, not yet. And the other doctor come back. The other doctor, they, he fall already. The doctor come back, say, have you eaten? He eaten anything because he doesn't eat, he, he cannot go. So um, the, we say he eat, but he say I have to see him eat. So he put another big can food in there. He come eat everything right in front of him. Even at home he doesn't eat like. That. And before that we tell him to eat. The nurse tell him to eat. He don't even look at it. The doctor come and say if you don't eat you cannot go home. And he jump and eat 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 eat. Oh, I'm not exaggerating. I have attendants who are witness to it, you know, and he, they are still alive, and they are all very, very impressed, you know. Yeah, the dogs are extremely intelligent. If you treat them like one, you will surprise. You will be surprised. The my small motis. When he first came, it's okay if I tell you my old dog stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You came here for Buddha, and you got the dog. <laughs> you alright? Okay. I, my Maltese, he was very young, very small when I got him, you know, very young, about three months. Okay, I got him home. And after a while, uh, big first dog, don't know anything. So everybody said, you got to send him to training, you know. Okay, he go to school. Fine, we took him to the school. A dog's Academy. Okay, we take him over there. They call it canine cadet, you know. Dogs. Uh, they don't say even dogs, they say canine academy. All right. <laughs> yeah, they do train dog, movie star, and all that over there as well, you know? So here go my dogs. Okay. Uh, he was very young, and we had to train him to do his uh, toilet on the paper, you know? On the paper from the clinic. It's about this big, it's padded paper. Yeah? And he, he still, sometimes he does it, sometimes he doesn't. So when he go to the school, I was very worried. So I said to him, you, you better take him out, you know, often, otherwise he might uh, dirty all your house. Yeah? But uh, the trainer said to me, my God, every day he go to that paper and does it there. At home he don't care, but over there, yes. <laughs> They keep him upstairs, even if he's playing upstairs with another dog. When the time he go, he go all the way down there, do it down there, and then go back up again. They were so impressed, so impressed. 
Okay, that was not everything. When uh, uh, the time came, like two weeks later, or I went there to collect him home. Nah? And uh, of course, uh, we are very happy and all that. But the trainer, the teacher, wants to show me what he has learned. Of course. So I said, Benny, sit. Okay, he sit. Benny, uh, go over there. He went over there. And uh, you know, it's far away, you know. I'm here and the trainer, like I'm there and the trainer there. But it's, we are distance, you know, like from here to the cameraman. Camera over there, hey? Eh? With a green person there. Yeah. So it's a bit longer than that. Okay, from this corner to that room, okay? We stand apart so that he can show off, you know, what he had been teaching Benny. Never mind. All right. And then he tell Benny, the last one, Benny, down, I mean flat on the stomach, you know, and don't move. So he, he's flat, he wants to run to me, but he can't because the teacher tell him to be flat down, so he flat down. And then he crawl. <laughs> He don't stand on his legs, but he's flat, no, he's down, no? But he crawls all the way to me. They all cry. The attendant cry, and the teacher cry, everybody say, oh, and they all cry. I was also, you know, in tears. He crawls flat, flat. Nobody teach him crawling. He, he don't stand up, no? He obeyed the, the teacher, fine, but he crawled flat, <laughs> sliding all the way to me. And they couldn't stop him, they just too, they just too shocked, you know, just looking. Oh, and everybody was in tears. Because he has been a favorite student there. They told me that he's very tidy. He always went to the corner there to do his uh, toilet, and he never make any trouble. He share all the toys. He don't bark loud, and he's uh, licking them all the time. Anybody in the house, you know, everybody come here, welcome, and you know, kissing, kissing everybody. So he was a favorite student already, you know. And when he does that, oh, everybody was in tears. You don't need to teach a dog. If you love him, he responds. He responds with love and he will surprise you no end. He did that to make you proud. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe. He shows always other people yeah, yeah. to die into my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so loving, so loving. Yeah, of course. And I thought he might have forgotten me already, you know, two weeks or three weeks training. No, he crawled all the way there to, 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 to my feet. Uh, of course, then I have to hug him, you know. <laughs> no more training. I say, forget it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I, I take my dog home. And, and he said, oh, your dog's so intelligent. If you allow me, I would train him more. No cost, no cost. I said, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't have him any more second. I, I'm here to take him home. I cannot bear anymore. Anyway, oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. And he's so small but very protective of me, you know. If any dog or anybody come and make trouble, he, he growl at them. And any dog can make trouble, he go and growl and bite them, you know. <laughs> Not hard or anything, but, you know, yank at them here. And the dog back off, you know. The, the big ones sometimes, if, if they think, he, if he thinks they're not obedient enough, then he go and scold them. Yeah. And when Lucky uh, uh, pee somewhere, they all scold him. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, or not, I don't know, but they all go in. Wow, 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 all of them are here. <laughs> Suddenly, everybody get up and go to him and, you know, scold. Oh, screaming at him, all five, four, five of them. Incredible. <laughs> because they know that he's causing trouble. And when I'm mad, maybe they also get affected. <laughs> and scold him all the time. Whenever they saw him do it in the house, oh, they go scold him. Then I know something wrong, and I go down. That's it, of course. That's <laughs> the reason. <laughs> yeah, they're incredible, incredible. Are your dogs like that? I have cats like that. Also, they're smart, eh? If you love them, they will show you their best. If you don't love them, they don't care. Also indifferent, okay? You give me food. Uh, I give you my present, all right. I'm here, that's it, you know? But if you really love them, oh, you're connected. It's almost spiritual how the dog actually relates to you without speaking. Yeah, they don't have to speak. Well, they do speak inside, eh? Yeah. We can talk. Anyway, oh, well, I forgot already, what was it? <laughs> 
I suddenly forgot. Because mm. we talk about cats, you know, and then I cut off the train of dogs. Oh, never mind, it's okay, you have enough of dogs already. <laughs> you came for Buddhas, you know? You came for dogs, right? Yeah. Okay, anyway, any question about dogs? <laughs> A picture of uh, when you died, uh, your uh, the dog in pink. It was just emergency like situation, and I died quick so that I can bring him to the doctor. You know, I was too worried about his health. Everybody was running around taking care of him. You know, and we were bathing him and then, uh, you know, do, uh, cut a little hair here and there and trim him up, make it look like a. Somebody owns him, you know, because <laughs> I'm afraid the doctor don't take him. He, he, he's too bad, or maybe infectious or something, you know. So we disinfect him, we, we spray him, we make all the the smell go away. We put perfume and everything, you know. <laughs> and the eyes, she smell like million dollars, you know. And then we bring it. because uh, I don't know that clinic take, you know, like stray dog. You see, they so harsh. They take uh, like movie star dogs or whatever. I'm worried. If my dog looks so shabby, you know, he might think I don't have money or my dog are bad or something, you know. So we have to make him look good and then bring it to the doctor. And the doctor loved him. <laughs> Put him on internet and everything afterward. <laughs> that guy has been internet many times. Yeah, in, in the dog, another dog shop, another dog shop uh, selling for dog food. They want to borrow him also to put on the internet. Yeah. Because I, I buy some hat for him. It was winter, you know? And I wear shoes and uh, a jacket, beautiful, and cowboy hat. So he looked beautiful. Everybody said, wow. Yeah, and the shop owner wants to, to take pictures just for talking in the internet, advertising. I said, why not? He's free. <laughs> And the television comes and says, oh, whose dog is that? And then they, you know, just a travel channel or something. Well, they also took text of his uh, videos or footage of him. I don't know what they do with it. Yeah. Anyway, that guy is really lucky. Yeah, He's getting a little old now, and he's better. Any more questions about dogs? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes, about a year ago. Yes. I was um, I live in Madrid now. You live in where? In Madrid. Madrid, yes. And I went I went to visit a friend up in the mountains. Yeah. And we were talking quite late and he took his dog out. Mm. And we found he came back with this poodle that looked exactly like Lucky. Yes. There's oh. a girl dog. Oh. And she's the same, really clever. Yes. Yes. Um, we didn't really know about her past or anything. He said, I don't know where he sort of had an idea where she came from, but he said that maybe it was badly treated. She was, uh -huh. so he said you have to save this dog. So mm -hmm. I took her, yeah. and I think she's really happy. Oh, good, good. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. she's really clever too. Yes, they are very clever. Puro, very clever. I mean, all dogs are clever. Sometimes they just pretend they don't know. Anything. All my dogs are clever. She meditates. Yes, yeah, she if does. I said meditate, she's yes, always yes. at my feet. Pudo, very uh, this uh, lucky. He is out all the time, out, you know. But he he didn't came from a good background, you know. He was an owl before. He has magical power. This guy, lucky, yeah. But used for bad things because he he was with a black magician, so he can even manifest uh, the the toilet, the poopy, whenever he, he wants. <laughs> Even though you took him out all day and he empty all his bowels, and whenever he, he's naughty, he want to show he upset, he does it. <laughs> Any time, and he can do it ten times again. <laughs> because he has magical power. <laughs> but also he meditates a lot now. When, when he's with me, that's it. You feel like no dog is there because he becomes very light and his soul is gone. He doesn't even move. No matter if you put heat next to him, cold weather, he never feels anything. He's completely gone. There's, Meditates a lot. There's one funny thing is we have like, you know, like wind chimes in the house? Yeah, yeah. And if you knock one occasionally, you know, the bell sounds and everything. She goes crazy. She sort of starts spinning around in, in a circle. Uh, I don't know if she's... Or maybe she doesn't like it. I don't know. She doesn't. Just a bad experience. by accident. I don't know. 
No, bad experience in the past. Can not take it away? Okay? Yeah. And my dog, he, he was an owl before, you know? That's why occasionally now he doesn't bark like a dog. He still say, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> yeah. And happy was a pig before. So even you don't believe me, if you meet her, you will see, she always. <laughs> <laughs> and in the night, sometimes I let them sleep on my bed already, fine, just go there. If you want my bed, go, go, go. But I meditate here. And after a while, I turn off all the light and slowly. I heard some noise and then some rushing and all. I, I, I said, is that you, Happy? She said, <laughs> In the dark, I don't see anything. <laughs> I know, it's her. <laughs> she does that. <laughs> And he, he stand up, you know, he sit on his, just like the owl, the bird sits, you know? Yeah. And he loves fruit more than other dogs because he, he used to be a bird and he eats fruit a lot, so he loves it. He loves fruit. If you see him eating fruit, you would think he's, he's a rabbit or something. <laughs> yeah. He eats fruit more than anything. Any time of the day, 24 hours, even if he's full or he had fruits already for dessert, if you give him any fruit, he eats it like he never seen anything in his life. <laughs> and because of him, every other dog also eats fruit and they all eat fruit. Yeah. Before, Goody don't like fruit, Benny don't eat fruit. You know, everybody, uh, nobody eats fruit, and now everybody eats fruit. Yeah. <laughs> All kind of fruits we give them. Yeah, we give them vitamin also. Yeah. And uh, all kind of dessert, yeah, dessert uh, the one uh, low calorie and all that, not too much sugar. But happy, she eats anything and she survives. She's so fat, we call her Godita, I mean fatty. <laughs> but, but she's so cute, you know, fat but cute. Before she was skinny and now she's fat. Triple jeans and uh, when she laid out all the flat flows alongside, <laughs> like double, double, that flows alongside. When she walked, everything here hanging. <laughs> uh, we have so much fun with her because we make fun of her and all that. She don't care. As long as you give her beer or some, <laughs> yeah, cakes, you know, anything human like, anything human eats, she eats. <laughs> no matter bad or good for, she don't care. But she eats anything and she survives. But we don't give her, you know, those uh, forbidden food. But now and again, but you can you you cannot refuse her. I drink some little beer, you know, non ago, and she she stand down there and she's drooling. <laughs> And then drink a lot and eat a lot, and then at night sleep and snore in the whole house. Oh, she snores so loud. This girl is something of sensuality. She's all for physical level. <laughs> she eats them all and more. Never enough. Every other dog stop, you know, bigger dog and fatter, bigger, but don't eat that much. And she eats like four times they do. And, <laughs> and beer she drink the whole, you know, I drink beer mixed with um, lemonade, one can of beer, one can of lemonade or seven up something. And if I mix it together, it becomes two cans. She drink them all at one time and non-stop. <laughs> you can't even drink that because you have gas and you have to stop. You know, you drink a little two, three mouthful and then you stop. But no, not her. <laughs> Until the last drop. She don't stop to breathe. I say, Happy, are you breathing? She don't even hear nothing. Drinking, 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 drinking. Drink I don't know any human who can even do that. <laughs> Other dog cannot drink like that. He drink maybe a little bit and then the gas hit their tongue and they say, there, you know. Okay, okay, I can and I will come back again. Two, three mouthful the most and stop and if want to drink, come back again. But this girl, no, she keep drinking like like a pumping machine, you know, non stop. Yeah. She don't stop to breathe or to, to have a break or nothing. She continue, continue, continue until it's finished. And ask for more. She can drink four cans <laughs> in one go. And then a few few minutes or half an hour later, if you give her more, she still can drink it. 
<laughs> and go out of the garden, come back and drink again. Oh dear God. No other dogs like beer. And they just taste, you know, a few mouthful and that's it. But she drinks and drinks and drinks like a fish. My goodness. <laughs> oh, talking about dogs. They're so special. And she's so beautiful. So beautiful. It's so pretty as well, you know? It's so beautiful here. She loves me so much. It's so grateful, you know? All the house loves her, but she loves me the most. She don't care about who loves her or not. Okay, if you love me, fine. I play with you, but she knows who, you know. That's so sticky. That's, I cannot leave her too long, you know. That's why she buys me with hair and so Yeah, yeah. She's pining for you. Yeah, pining, yeah. <laughs> okay. Any more questions about dogs? <laughs> yes. Yeah, behind there. Yeah. 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 When we came here, it was so fantastic when your dogs came to say hello and welcome. It was like a... You mean here? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not my dog. No. Yeah. They welcome you, eh? Yes. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Yes. And <laughs> it was fantastic when when she. I don't know if it's she or he. Yeah. But uh, I the thought. The medium size. I, but I only remember is her uh, eyes yeah. because they were small, yellow. The Buddha's dog. Okay, uh, that's why. Okay. The Lady Buddha's Fantastic. dog. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. And the other dogs uh, have been here already, right? And then you just adopt them along. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's good. I feel good now. Feel at home, eh? Feel at home with some dog. I welcome you, eh? Okay, now what do you want to speak? Cho con hỏi là có khi nào mà một người bị chết đi đầu thai hay thành một chó được không ạ? Có, 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 có thể được. Yeah. Tại vì con, con có biết một con chó, um, nó hành xử như một người, mm. như một người mà, như một người đàn ông. Um, uh. um, gentleman. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 possible. Uh, yeah. Tức là nó nó rất là là lịch sự. Yeah. Uh, không bao giờ nó để cho người quát nó. Uh -huh. à, ăn ăn uống bao giờ cũng chờ vợ con ăn hết rồi bắt đầu mới vào ăn. Uh -huh. Thế nói chung là là những cái hành xử của nó rất là yeah, giống yeah, của yeah. con người. Yeah. Thế nhưng mà có một điều lạ là ba tháng liền dòng dã nó cứ khóc. Uh -huh. Nó cũng nước mắt lúc nào cũng dòng dòng, toét uh -huh. hết là rụt ra. Yeah. À, con chó này là của một anh chị đồng tu ở uh -huh. Việt Nam. Uh -huh. Mẹ con biết, mẹ con biết là um, anh chị phải uh -huh. rất là nhiều ngày cầu xin sư phụ là <cười> cho nó có thể là nó nhớ về tiền kiếp hoặc ừ. là thế nào đó cầu ừ. xin sư phụ rất là nhiều ừ. sau đó thì nó đã thôi khóc ừ. con chỉ muốn kể thế à, và ừ. muốn hỏi sư phụ là có thể phải chăng nó có thể có thể nhà yeah, có thể có thể để nó làm chó là tiếc lúc làm người á à, tiếc nó còn tu nên nó khóc ok không sao đâu she say one of her dogs The dog, she, she knows, is like a gentleman, you know, he always wait for his wife and kid to eat first before he, he come and eat. And he never, uh, he was very gentleman all the time, you know? Yeah. Lucky in a way, it's the same. He always wait for everybody else to eat first, most of the time, and then he come eat. But except fruit, fruit he don't wait. <laughs> fruit he kills. <laughs> he go and eat everybody else as well. <laughs> Once he finishes his fruit, he go eat everybody else. Anybody who don't eat or left over or too slow, even big dogs, small dogs, they're not afraid to go and get it, eat it all. <laughs> uh, yeah, lucky always wait. In the beginning, I asked him, why, why, why don't you ask? You eat like everybody else. And he, he said he feels like an omega, that's why. I said, there's no such thing as omega, alpha, whatever, that rubbish. You go eat your food. <laughs> and then he go eat. You know, the omega dog. They always eat behind everybody else. It's after, you know? But the thing is, because Lucky was the geisha also before in Japan. Yes. And the geisha, they are trained like Japanese all the time to wait for everybody, for husband at least to eat first before they eat. Understand? So it's just, ah, it's interesting to know the history of one dog. And at one time he was an owl. That's why he eat fruit. And the owl was kept by owl, right? O W L owl, and he, he was kept by a black magician, and this black magician never let him out. 
he told me, you know, that he was very suffering. Yeah, but he learned some magical <laughs> tricks uh, with the magician, and he used it sometimes. Sometimes he used, I say, okay, fine, but you don't use it for bad purpose. I say, okay, otherwise I cut it off. Right? And then he, he used it sometimes. He used it to protect me sometimes. Yeah. That's his gift for me. That's his gift for me. Every dog come bring a gift for me to offer. Same with the birds, they also bring different gifts to me. It's too long to talk about it anyway. Okay. Um, maybe some of your dogs, they also have gifts for you, but you don't know it. Some dogs have gifts to bring along with them, and whoever nice to them, they give it to them. Yes. For example, some dogs have a gift of making the owner wealthy. If you're nice to him, he makes you good money. And you don't think the dog is not earning it, but he causes it, causes it so you to earn money. Uh, that's why there was a hospital, not a hospital, a dog house in, I think it's San Francisco. There was a man, he was uh, uh, homeless, no? and he has nobody, and he, nobody loves him, anything. And then he just adopted, that dog came to him and adopted him, and feed him and all that together. And then later he became millionaire. <laughs> Because the dog uh, keeping him company all this time, make him happy, and then he can think again how to make money. And then so he makes a lot of money. So after he died, he put in his will all the money for the dog. So they make a big house for the dog. Any dog that adopted there live in special room, they have windows and blankets and bed, everything. Good room, yeah. And take good care, like uh, a human. Uh, the house in San Francisco, right? Anybody? Maybe somebody knows about it? Okay, no. The animal world is fascinating. Fascinating. If you can talk to the animal, they tell you a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, there was one show in America when I was there. There was a psychic, uh, animal psychic. You can talk to dogs. Uh, dogs or other animals, yeah? And it was a live show, né? they bring different dogs there. And then one time, the owner was asking why his dogs have been sick, tired, and no active anymore, and the doctor don't know what's wrong. So the psychic concentrate and talk to the dog. And then she said that, your dog tell you that because you use all this chemical to clean the house, so he cannot bear it, and he's sick. So he will beg you not to clean with the chemical anymore. And at that moment, that dog go and put the paw into her hand, you know, like shake hand. That, that dog never know her before, né? He come to her and then put the paw on, on, on her arm. And so it was very touching. Yeah, it's life, it was life. She's very famous in America. Her name is something like Fitzgerald, something. She lives in Texas. Yeah. And I just watched at that time, the dog come to her and put a paw on her you know, hand like that. And, and then, oh, it was very touching. At the moment she finished the sentence, she, he come and do that. And it's so obvious, you know. Yeah. Thank you for telling Thank you, yeah. He, ah, he was so happy. So the owner just used the vinegar, a half vinegar, half water to clean. Ever since then, and the dog is okay. So if you have pet, don't clean with chemical. Yeah, anything the chemical it might hurt your dog, and you don't even know it. Dog or cat, anything. Human also I know human, but the dogs are more sensitive. Yeah, because they lay on the ground, they lick their paw and everything. Most dogs came from second level, eh? That's why they are so loyal, they are so smart. Yeah? Cat uh, mostly came from astral level, so they have magic power. They are very psychic. Cats are very psychic. Dogs are very loyal and uh, have uh, a lot of good sense and intellect because it came from second level. They are beings from second level who came down specially for some reason, eh? mostly to help their friends or relatives still there or something like that, or some attachment somewhere. Eh? But not my dogs, eh? My dogs, eh? <laughs> the, other, the two dogs, uh, yeah, 
came from maybe second level, but the doubt that I have, I'm not. I many he came from the fifth level, huh? so he goes back there. Some volunteer to come down so that they can be around. Because they missed me, you know. <laughs> so it's very even if they're on the fifth level, they don't see me. Hardly or never. So they come down here when I'm here, I can stay long. <laughs> Many years together. Oh, we talk about the geisha and and uh, the Rottweiler goody? Yes. They were husband and wife before even, can you imagine? <laughs> when he was samurai and she was a geisha. And uh, so they were fantastic together and protect each other and all that. One time, it was Kogu Lucky because he peed and he volunteered, he walked down, go down first because he knows that Lucky is going to go down after that. Cannot stay in my room, you know, as a train purpose. He has to go, he cannot stay. And then he go down first and wait for him down there. <laughs> Not romantic, just gentlemen, you know. <laughs> and because of that, I don't score uh, lucky much anymore. You know, I take him down together. Yeah. Because they all understand, you know. Always the same. If I score lucky because he, he pees somewhere, then he immediately could he get up, which is difficult. When he's on his sofa, no even thunder, he don't move. But if I go lucky, he walk down there and wait for him. They've been together before. <laughs> and because of that, lucky can come. It seems like I just uh, adopted him, but if you check it out, the whole history, they all link together, that's why. See, I cannot have one without the other taking in, something like that. Yeah. Even though they're different levels, but Goody helped to bring Lucky in, you know? Or Lucky helped to bring Goody in, vice versa, whatever, you know? Yeah. Cows are from uh, almost the fifth level, you know, border of fourth and fifth. Cows, all the cows are from there. And they eat them. You don't know whom you're dealing with all the time. You look down upon animals, you're not even there. Look at the cow, they eat just grass and they give you milk, cheese, they absolutely everything. And they still kill them, eat them. You know, the cow are like a mother of almost the whole babies on the planet, you know, all the baby on the whole planet. So if I tell you to be vegetarian, it is correct. All right? Even if I didn't tell you all this, the cow is a benefactor of mankind. Understand? Yeah. You should never touch them. Now, what do you want to say? Okay, and uh, the, the big dog, he bought some bread. Uh, I didn't eat that day, and he put some bread there in front of me. He, that, he did? Yeah, it was really touching, really yeah. touching. Oh. Then the next day I was outside and I watched them play. Because they, they were such growling to each other, and then they snuck under the fence. And there's a big open land there, like it's vast, and then the dogs were all playing together. It was really fun. They looked like, like birds flying in the sky, they looked totally free. Mm. And each of those dogs, they are, are a different personality. Like mm -hmm. the big one, he's kind of the strong guy who can run the fastest and go the yeah. fastest distance. And yeah, they have fun, yes. Uh, Goody, the Rottweiler, he's a very filial dog, very friendly dog, very generous. Whenever anybody from the family come home, especially me, he always grab a toy or anything nearby, even a pillow and come and offer. <laughs> yeah. Toys, food, anything. He just wait there, offer. <laughs> yeah. And he, he is very gentle. He never jump because he knows he's too strong for me. Yeah. The first day I teach him only one time, I say, you're very strong, I am fragile. Don't jump on me and don't push me around. So whenever he go near me, he sit down immediately. Yeah. He sit in front. Yeah, either with the, some offering or not, he sit. So that I can pet him, talk to him, and do. And then I sit with him and hug him. But he never jump up and hug me. But all the men attendants, he jump on their head, and hug them, oh, on the shoulder, everything. Play rough with them, punching around, you know, pushing. <laughs> jump on them, and both fall on the ground. Everything he does. 
He treats them like dogs. <laughs> like dog smell, you know? Buddy, buddy, yeah. But he always sit in front of me. He never jump on me. But happy is stubborn. Happy the girl. Whenever I come home, she come and punch me right in the stomach right away, just one. <laughs> and then everything else is uh, later. And Guri always bring the offering, you know, always, never fail. Even if I don't see him just five minutes before, I come back down. Oh, he go and grab a toy and come and wag his tail and everything. He have only very little tail behind, that's all. <laughs> so fast. <you> know? <laughs> Always some toys or something to, to offer you if you come. If he knows you, he make offering to you all the time. Yes. They, they're really special, you know. So you can tell that they're special. They're not normal dog, no? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. And he gives you bread, eh? Yeah. Oh, dear. Well, I thought he touched. How does he have bread? He just had the piece of bread and he just put it there. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> but you know, I was choked up with emotion. Yeah, can you imagine? Yeah. yeah. And I, I picked the bread and gave it to him. I think he was embarrassed. I embarrassed him. <laughs> but you know, I didn't know how to react. I just, you should take it and put it in your pocket or yeah, something. Yeah, He'll I, be pleased. I was thinking I would eat that. Oh. I was thinking I would eat that because he bought it. Yeah, why didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never mind, never mind, don't worry. I don't mind. Why well, you should take it and put it in your pocket or something? Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's so nice, eh? Yeah. I can't believe it. Because bread is hard to get here. It, it's not like he has bread every day, you know, yeah. and he, he give it to you. Oh, yeah. that's nice. And, and, he, and he didn't say much. You know, when I said yesterday that no. I think he's quiet. Yeah, he he's just very comes quiet. And he just, just he, and you feel peaceful. Yeah, he's okay. very quiet. Um, when I first came, the first day he already snuggled around, you know, like putting his head snuggle around my dress, you know, <laughs> and let me pet him for a long yeah. time. Yeah. I think that's a, they are really amazing, the animals. Yeah, they know everything. My dogs, they smile very big. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I pet them or they're on my lap, they smile. Yeah. <laughs> so big, so big. No, Everybody I, can see it. I feel like getting a dog now because I think there's a way some quality inside you, right? Some love. <laughs> it's hard work. You, yeah, you I don't know, just get work. that, okay? That's you have to know do. what to do, eh? Yeah. Before, you have to study in book. But if you love dog, you have one, eh? But you must know it's hard work. You don't just have a dog just for your sake. You have responsibility. My bird, I really laugh. You know, like sometimes the dog plays some antics <laughs> and then what is there? <laughs> Laughing like that. <laughs> and then looking again and later. <laughs> I heard your birds. I was really surprised. I didn't know a bird could talk like that. Or they laugh. They laugh. Yeah. They yeah. Laugh like that. I yeah. And now, now every time I, I see him, I say, "Are you happy, guys?" Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> or sometimes, sometimes we talk funny joke, you know. And uh, I happen to let a bird stand there, or I play with dog, and we do something funny, and we laugh at that bird, and also look at it and laugh also. <laughs> They're really happy laughing. Yeah. Happy laughing. Oh, incredible. Yeah. They, they all laugh. When, when it's funny thing, they laugh. Yeah. They laugh like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> incredible. You don't know. You don't know the animal's kingdom. They're beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. It's a lot of work going on. Okay. Never mind. I can't tell you too many things either. <laughs> it's all the amazing stuff. It's all the amazing stuff. But yeah, the history of your dogs and the fun uh, stuff, but the okay. other stuff I cannot tell. Sure. Okay. Yeah, it's nice, eh? Nice to know animals have uh, really intelligence. They are intelligent. Yeah. If you love them, they love you back. And they respond amazingly. Yeah. But you have to really love them, eh? They know who loves them, you know? No matter how you act or anything, eh? don't fool them at all. Yeah. So even some of my attendants acting like, like they love my dog, you know, he loves my dog whenever I'm around, you know. Yeah. But I know he doesn't because the dog don't care. Yeah. <laughs> don't care about him. Uh. They, 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 they know sincerity, right? They can see. They, they, they feel, they are psychic. Yeah. They see through. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> they don't need language. Yeah. They understand everything. Actually, something like that happened to me a couple a uh, couple of years ago. One of the brothers, uh, they bought the the, the the small baby there, and I was all smiling and everything. And then the baby looked looked all through me, and then I realized all that was just act. 
it was uh, none of it was real. That's yeah. that's my other thing. And I felt really ashamed. <laughs> he saw straight through me. He looked yeah. through me, and he's and I, and I went. Uh, you I, realize. I that. Yeah. 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 So now you look into animals' eyes, and and you know that they know. Yeah. 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 And you just stop whatever you right. were acting or fooling around, right? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that many times from other people. Like one of my attendants, just sometimes they told me so. When they look at Abby's face, they say, because he was scolding for nonsense reason, and Abby looked at him. You know, kindly, but uh, strictly. And then he feel immediately like a message to him saying, I stop that. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> it's, but really, he can get the message. Sure. Just that day. Yeah. They're so cool, you know. They they tell you without language. Okay. Do we have enough now with dogs and we meditate, eh? Okay. Right. Any more question before we meditate? Yeah. May I just ask you how uh, how uh, how many points? Uh, uh, do we get while talking to alive, like now? Before you said that uh, while uh, when we watch videos, mm -hmm. listen to the songs. Oh dear! <laughs> <laughs> Please, no business now, okay? <laughs> Can you just enjoy my presence? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I tell you some points so that you know to encourage you to practice, but you don't bargain about business here. You don't come here because of points. You didn't even know I'm here, and that was good that you come. And I'm here to enjoy my presence, no matter if point or zero point or point or big point or point. Should not think like that, eh? Right? Even if you have point, it not depends on how you concentrate and what kind of motive you have in your heart. I cannot tell black and white, no? But please, no business everywhere. There's one corner without business. When we are together, no business, okay? Right? Any more? Yeah? Good, huh? Okay, we meditate then.